FormKit now ships with a first-party, multi-step input plugin that makes it easy to break complex forms into guided flows for your users. It's only a few lines of code to get started, so let's take a look. To install the plugin, we need to import the create multi-step plugin function from the FormKit add-ons package and the supporting styles, and then add the create multi-step plugin function to our plugins array in our FormKit config. We have two new input types available to us, multi-step and step. Steps are nested inside of the multi-step type input, and the names that we apply are converted from camel case to title case for our tabs. Let's add some additional FormKit inputs inside of our first step. Here, I've added fields asking for a user's name, their email address, and if it's okay for us to send them product update information. If I try to go to the next step, you'll see that it lets me do so, but it shows me how many fields on the previous step I didn't complete that were required. Let's repeat this process for other steps in our form. Here, we're asking for some company information, and on the final step, we're asking the user to agree that they're not gonna share any information about our early access software. This is already a good start, but there's a few things we're probably going to want to do in most cases. Right now, we're allowed to freely navigate through the tabs. In some cases, you might wanna restrict the user from advancing to the next tab until they've successfully validated the current tab. You can do this using the allow incomplete prop and setting it to false. Now, I'm unable to advance to further tabs in my form until my current tab is successfully validated. Additionally, sometimes we may not want to render our multi-step tabs as tabs, but instead as some indicator of progress the user has made through our multi-step flow. We can do this using the tab style prop and setting it equal to progress. Now you can see that our tabs are rendering in a way where it shows the user the progress that they've made through our flow. In cases where we may be using the multi-step input as our entire form experience, we can add a final button on our last step using the step next slot. In this case, I'm going to create a form kit submit button inside the last step, which will then be added to my form. Now I can submit my form from inside the multi-step. There we go. This has been a very quick look at the multi-step input plugin that ships with form kit. We hope it saves you a lot of time as you build guided user flows in your own projects. Thank you.